you please join me in welcoming our visiting author today, Ms. Gail Carson Levine. Gail Carson Levine, author of such acclaimed children's novels as Ella Enchanted and Dave at Night, welcomed fans and future writers to the Valley Ranch Library. The program was just one of the events in the Irving Public Library's Big Read 2013. I had so much fun writing this. Along with beating the author, having a book autographed, and snagging a photo op, there was also the chance to hear Gail Carson Levine talk about her books and share glimpses of her writing process, like this story about one of her most famous heroines. And then I started to think about Cinderella, and she is so disgustingly sweet. <laughs> and she obeys that horrible step family and she's nice about it. And so I didn't like her and I didn't understand her. Solving the mystery of why Cinderella might have been so obedient led Levine to create Ella, one of her most beloved characters. The same impulse led her to write Dave at Night. Oh, what's my favorite book? Well, Dave at Night might be my favorite book of the ones because of the connection with my father. My father was an orphan. And, uh, Although her father was orphaned at an early age, Levine says he was the happiest person she ever met, but he rarely talked about that period of his life. She had one fact. So he grew up in uh, the Hebrew Orphan Asylum. He didn't talk about it. The only story my father would tell about the orphanage was about sneaking out, and he would sneak out in the daytime, he bought candy, and he'd bring the candy back to the orphanage and sell it. And he said he had a pretty good business going <laughs> till they busted him. So Levine filled in the but blanks and wrote her own story of her father's weird. early life using the orphanage as the, the setting. Life. So it's com a combination of orphanage life, plus he slips out of the orphanage at night and has adventures. It takes place in 1926. So he has adventures in the Harlem Renaissance. Set during the Roaring Twenties, the same era as The Great Gatsby, Dave at Night is an excellent choice for the Big Reads children's selection. The kind of nightlife, the kind of high rollers that you see in Gatsby are in my book to some degree. Although it was not the first book she published, writing Dave at Night taught Levine a very valuable lesson about herself. It was the first novel that I've written. I wrote picture books before that that I couldn't get published. And this started as a picture book, and an editor asked me to expand it and then rejected it. But when I expanded it, I discovered that I'm a novelist. Then he always asked, what happened? At the beginning of my story, he'd listen and frown, but then the frown would disappear, and his shoulders would start to shake. A little while later, he'd be laughing and wiping tears from his eyes. And discovering that I'm a novelist was a, an enormous discovery, that I'm much more comfortable with the long form, with all the detail, with the moment to moment, that I have two picture books and I love them, but the novel is where I'm most at home. Levine has a great fan base in Irving that would certainly agree. Um, and I. I've taken up writing, I'm going to school right now for poetry. I'm going for a, a master's in poetry, which with, I don't know if I love it. I may be, a, I may come back and tell you that I'm a poetry school dropout, but <laughs> at this point I'm in poetry school too. This is Kathy Whiteman reporting. <laughs>